assalamu alaikum and very good morning welcome to my youtube channel chemistry with gs how are you fine so today i will teach you beta elimination reactions of alkyl halides this is very very important questions for the examination point of view so what are elimination reactions so the reactions in which two atoms are groups remove from two adjacent carbons of a molecule with the formation of new double bond so here new double bond will form and these are called what beta elimination reactions or simply elimination reactions so here OH is the nucleophile right CH3 CH2 Br in the presence of KOH so it gives what CH2 double bond CH2 it forms ethene plus water plus bromide ion and such reactions a nucleophile which should be a base this is nucleophile OH minus removes a hydrogen from beta carbon this is um, a halogen uh, carbon nearest to the halogen is called alpha carbon and carbon next to that is called beta carbon so here removes a proton from beta carbon by a nucleophile which which is a base so the halogen atom is removed from the alpha carbon so look at the cursor this is the alpha carbon this is the beta carbon so a double bond is formed between two carbon atoms the elimination reactions are of two types one is e2 reactions the other one is e1 reactions so let me to explain first E2 reactions, right? So in E2 reaction, the uptake of nucleophile, which should be a base, and a removal of living group takes place at a time, means simultaneously. So it is a single step reaction, right? The point number two, in E2 reaction, there is only slow step, right? So there is only one step and that is slow step. So, because two molecules take part in slow steps, so it is called bimolecular reaction. If you look at this is a base, so it will remove hydrogen from beta carbon. This is beta carbon and Br will be removed. This is the living group. So, this produces what CH2 double bond CH2 plus HB plus Br minus. This step is slow step and this slow step, look at this one two molecules are participating one is this one ch3 ch2 br the other one is this one b minus which is a base so rate of reaction depends upon both the concentration of alkyl halide and base right so rate is rate is equal to kk is called rate constant rate equation constant and concentration of alkyl halide and concentration of a base Point number four, in E2 reactions, the molecularity in order of reaction is two. Point number five, in E2 reaction, carbocations, carbonium ion is not formed. Point number six, primary alkyl halides generally show E2 reactions in nonpolar solvents. Now comes towards E1 reactions. In E1, reaction attach of nucleophile and removal of living group do not take place at a time right so it is a two steps reaction point number two and e1 reaction the first step is slow step and the second step is very fast step so because only one molecule take part in the slow steps so that's why it is called unimolecular reaction if you look here ch3 this is tertiary alkyl halide it ionizes first to form carbocations and this is the slow steps you have to write here slow so that second step is very fast step so b this is nucleophile which should be a base remove 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 a hydrogen from the beta carbon and produces what alkene plus hb rate of e1 reaction depends only upon concentration of alkyl halide because in the slow step only this is the slow steps and only tertiary alkyl halide is involved so that's why rate is direct rate is equal to k concentration of alkyl halide only point number six the molecularity in order of reaction is one because in the slow step 
only tertiary alkyl halide is involved so only one molecule is involved and the slow step slow step is called red determining step as you know red determining so the number of my the number of molecules participating in the red determining step is the order of reaction so here the molecularity and order of reaction of E1 reaction is 1. In E1 reaction, the carbonium ion is essentially formed. So this is called the carbonium ion. Look at that. This is the car carbonium ion. So it will must form. Without formation of this, it, this reaction is not possible. So the molecularity order of reaction is 1. In E1 reaction, the carbonium ion is, is essentially formed. And next point is tertiary alkyl halide generally show E1 reaction. A secondary alkyl halide can show E1 reaction and polar solvents. So this was about the uh, beta elimination reactions. So these reactions are very very important. So this these reactions are shown by alkyl halide. So these reactions are called beta elimination reactions and these this topic is very very important for examination point of view so i would like to request that subscribe my channel that you receive the most updated videos and that you get more more benefit from my uh, means from my videos so thanks for watching my youtube channel chemistry with gs allah hafiz